Hi, welcome to Wellness. I'm your host, Linda Lonigan, Senior Clinical Nutritionist. I'm here to show you the very best your community has to offer in health, fitness, nutrition, well-being, amazing events, and amazing people. Today I'm joined by the lovely Rodella Hughes, who is an essential oil enthusiast and a 200-hour instructor of yoga, and a phenomenal one at that. Mm. Welcome, Rodella. Thank you, thank you. I'm so excited and so happy to be here again. Yes, you were my very, very first guest. Yes, and I'm so proud of you and the growth. And no, you thank just, you. Such an inspiration to me and to everybody. You're just beautiful. Oh, mm -hmm. thanks, Rodella. Mm -hmm. So, essential oil. Tell me how that all got started. Actually, um, when my husband was relocated to Ireland a while ago. Um, so my son, who's now 22, was born over there. Um, I became an aromatherapist. I did an aromatherapy certification. And when I came back home and I was, uh, we have a house up in the Adirondacks. And at that time, I did not have yoga in the Adirondacks. I uh, went to a local spa and I was introduced to Young Living Essential Oils. And as a trained aromatherapist through Dublin, I was taught you don't use oils neat, which means directly on the skin. You know, there's certain oils like cinnamon that can be burning. Yeah. Um, but I learned through Young Living that you can ingest them and you can put them on your skin. You just have to make sure they're therapeutic grade, where they come from. So Young Living seed to seal, so that's why I only use Young Living. Um, and then from there, I just kept being aware and growing with it. And as a yoga instructor, I became certified in a practice called Aroma Yoga. Mm -hmm. And Aroma Yoga, um, we use the Young Living Oils, and it's taking the asanas and using the oils, which we know work with our olfactory system in our brain that stimulate the brain and with the emotions. So it's they're basically triggers. Interesting. Um, I like to share the story. You walk into a home with a nice apple pie and it smells delicious. But if you have someone who's experienced something negative in that, say someone was doing that and they got a phone call that grandma passed away, mm -hmm. every time that person or that individual smells an apple pie, it's gonna trigger that emotion. So we all have our own stored emotions based on our life's interesting. experiences. That's an interesting analogy. So they're, they're triggers, you know, sure. and just like Aroma Yoga, it's a practice of the self through the self. The Bhagavad Gita says yoga is a journey of the self through the self to the self. Mm -hmm. And isn't that the truth? I mean, we all come sure. into this world sure. on our own, right. and we're all going to leave this world on our own. And right. what do we have? Our breath. Right. You know, and when you can bring it back to your breath, and use all the wonderful natural healing opportunities is what they are. Right. And I just get to share it and it's all a blessing. And you're so good at it. Thank you, day, I love I, it, yes. I love it. The other day I was privileged to have a session with you uh, with lovely Mary, yes. our other good friend. And it was wonderful in terms of uh, the environment you present. Uh, with the tapestries on the wall, and you make it a very comfortable, serene and tranquil uh, place to do yoga. It's yes. phenomenal. Yeah. And you're so talented, Brodella. Well, thank you. Um, you had used a specific oil. Um, would you like to share? What yeah, oil actually, was? I used Journey On that okay. day. And every practice is different. You mm -hmm. know, as a yoga instructor, what you're really doing is creating space for people to really become the observer of themselves. And also as a yoga instructor, there are different styles of yoga mm -hmm. and there are different types of people teaching yoga. Mm -hmm. So explore it, you know, find your person or that environment where you can really be vulnerable within yourself because right. that's where the healing is, is right. when you can be vulnerable, be the observer of yourself and allow the oils to do their work, you know, instead right. of us always trying to control it and having these expectations, you know, it's like, I really believe that what's meant to happen is going to happen. And mm -hmm. when you can let go of that dis-ease, yeah. 
you know, there goes the stress, you sure. know, it's like going get any kind of a posture you get yourself into and always honoring our body and allowing what comes to create the space. And if you feel the tension, can you use the breath to and support props? You know, a lot of people I find don't like to use supports or props because they feel it makes them weak. Right. And you know, you got some very talented, skillful yoga instructors that can go into wheel and do all these great things. But one day they can come up and find that with their, by root to rise. And other days based on energy, you know, we're all energy, the solar energy, the lunar energy, and based sure. on what we are, just owning it, right. accepting it and right. honoring yourself, you yeah. know? And I always say when you can find self-love, Mm -hmm. You've found the meaning of life because, sure. and I don't say that in um, an egotistical way where me, 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 I don't, somehow in society we've become like that. But I mean yeah, it in yeah. a way where like you, like you okay. just shine and with you oh, shining, thanks, you help me shine. And if That's we right, all can, can just shine within ourselves and people gravitate towards that, I think that is how we're going to change our society by... Sure not expecting peace to be outside of us. It's right. inside of us. So I use right. the oils, I use the yoga, and we're having our um, yoga in the Adirondacks. Yes. We yes. are having two retreats this year. Yes. Um, we are having spring into summer, mm -hmm. May 31st through June 2nd, right. and autumn transformation, September right. 27th through 29th. And right. I'm very blessed to have a great facilitating crew, right. including yourself. Um, it's my pleasure. Yeah, and on February 1st yeah. right. um, will be open uh, pre-registration. So, okay. um, check, you know, look at the website, stay in tune and... Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, and, and each and every one of the professionals is so gifted mm -hmm. in their, their specialty and the energy again is so positive. The first one is going to be a de detox Yes. Cleansing. Cleansing. Yes. So the foods. Yeah, embracing the nature. Private cook. Yes. Um, everything is going to be to detox and cleansing and seasonal fresh vegetables and fruits that go along with yes. that. With uh, catered, very yes. uh, lovely meals. I can't um, wait. Instructions. <laughs> and the secondary one is autumn transformation. Autumn transformation, right. yep. Right. Change, embracing change, you know, as the, ch the, fall, the leaves change. Right. You know, and very blessed to have yoga in the Adirondacks to grow it, but with it, I'm growing myself. And, yes. you know, we all have our individual challenges, and sure. it's when you can really just sure. be the observer of yourself and realizing, you know, like I always kind of take energy like a battery of a car. Mm -hmm. You need negativity. You need that negative energy to get the battery going, right? right. So it's how we right. use that. Right. You know, it's like right. we can do the fight or flight. Right. And that's the other thing I'd like to mention with the oils is they work with the parasympathetic of the nervous system, which is that yes. part that's not the fight or flight, that's you know, right. that ease. So, right. um, <clears throat> yeah. Right. And the, the and two, two others here, because you, you talked, you touched on in terms of essential oils and wellness. Yes. So these other two that you have, please share. Peppermint is my go to. I have it with me everywhere. Uh, I take peppermint and I put it in a drop of hot water, making a tincture in the morning, and I drink it. And it's um, balancing for your pH. It's mm -hmm. very good for your digestive, helps the digestive mm -hmm. system. Um, and as always, um, always check with your primary care doctor with, sure. because people are on different medications and right. certain oils, they're very concentrated that they could, you have someone who's on high blood pressure or a blood thinner, sure. you know, these work, you know, they go right into the nerves and they right. relax, they're anti-inflammatory. Peppermint is really good for migraines. You put a little bit on the temples, not yes, near the you know. eyes, but they, um, there are studies saying how it blocks the pain for headaches. For migraines. Yeah, yes. And also it helps with women uh, going th with hot flashes. Yes, yes. Hormones. Heard, it balances yeah. hormones. Yes. Which and, is phenomenal. Yeah, and for, it's great. For all. And you can diffuse the oils. You can use them topically. Um, some of them you should use a carrier oil. Um, I prefer using the carrier oil because you just get more bang for your buck type of a scenario in that it carries them, you know, it carries them. It carries Can you them. explain what that means? Yeah. So, yeah. um, you take a drop, put it on your hand, and then if you add essential oil, I mean the carrier oil to it, 
look how much more you have mm -hmm. okay. versus that one drop okay. and now you have it and it's and now you can you know right. you put put on the bottom of your feet you sure. know put it um your kidney areas you sure. know any place where you're feeling that stress sure. um and peppermint i use i put a drop of it on my toothbrush you know really good for oral hygiene um right yeah so right. And what about um, you had shared about frankincense? What is the, what what have you seen or in your expertise? <clears throat> with frankincense? Uh, frankincense is very good for people with depression. It's um, it's an uplifting. They use it a lot in meditations. That's why you see it a lot in churches where uh -huh. they have the frankincense. And uh -huh. okay. Um, okay. it is my go-to. I put it in my conditioner. Um, I. They actually have a, it's in the Vitality line, and Young Living has a Vitality line, which they are FDA approved, so they label them separately that mm -hmm. you can ingest them. Um, and it's just that oil that, you know, it was a gift to, to Jesus. It's a gift to Jesus. It was a gift and, to Jesus. And that's your trick. That's why you're always so happy. Yeah, you're see, I'm so giving away my tricks. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, um, the oils awesome. are amazing, and I'm yeah. just an enthusiast, and I share them. Yeah. You know, I... I live them. They're everywhere in my house. You go, mm -hmm. they're there, and I just. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I felt I, I felt it with the uh, private yoga session the other day um, when you used the Journey One, um, that Journey On, uh, Journey On, yes, and it immediately uh, transcended in terms of relaxing us, yeah, and uh, and putting us in a state. And you're gifted as a yoga instructor because you work so carefully with each person that is part of your session. I've been part of yogas and large groups and small groups that it's not specifically tailored. You, you watch for every nuance, every instance in terms of if they're in pain, if they're in discomfort, do mm -hmm. they need certain props? Yes. You're very gifted oh, thank with you. that. I'm so grateful that... Yeah, you are. You and your your environment with yoga is in the Adirondacks. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. It is. It's um, gorgeous up there. Up, uh, up in there. In the Adirondacks. It's just serene, it's serene and tranquil yes. as it is. And that's um, um, our retreats are going to be embracing the Adirondacks. And right. Um, just going back a little bit, we've had a house up in the Adirondacks for the past 20 years, and right. it was such a place for me to come back to my true self. Right. And I said, when I have the opportunity, when my husband retires and my children are grown, to give back. So I feel like that's where I am right now with you and all the wonderful people around me to sure. grow this into a place where people down here in Westchester where there's a lot of congestion, sure. you know, and trying, it's almost like sure. being on the highway. How sure. do you make space for other people that are in a hurry that need to go there right. without reacting with it, you right. know? Right. Um, no, so, no, I understand. And it's just so, a blessing. So we're just about to wrap up. Is there anything last year? I would like to take the opportunity to just do a little mindful breathing and sure. using the oil. Sure. So I'm going to let you sure. choose. Would you like to be more stimulated uh, or uplifted? Hmm, you know, you choose. frankincense or peppermint. You I'm going to give you some frankincense. Okay. All right. So opening up your left palm and your left side is your receiving, okay. um, our yin, and it's closest to your heart. Okay. I'm just going to put a couple of drops here. Okay. And I'm going to do the same with mine just so we have the same. Okay. And then in the aroma yoga practice, we take our three fingers and we align them with the meridians in the energy center. So just taking it and allow the oil, just go around a couple times just to stimulate it and then bring your hands together and then closing your eyes and then bringing your hands to heart center. And then just bring your hands up and take a nice inhale through the nostril. And then if you want, just allow the arms to come down to your side bringing the, the palms up so it's more of a receiving. And then we're just going to incorporate our breath. So bringing your breath down at your, rule, your root, we're gonna inhale through the nostril, coming up the spine, all the energy centers, the chakras, coming all the way up to the crown. And I like to imagine my breath like it's a water wheel. So as you exhale out the mouth, imagine the water going over the water wheel. And then it comes back and then you're gonna inhale. And then take a deep inhale of your frankincense and let it resonate with you. Come to that place inside you. I like to take away the drishti, the physical sense of vision, so you can come a little bit inward. And just let the breath carry Beautiful. you. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
And then if you wanted to, you can always raise the arms up. So mm -hmm. if when you inhale, inhale the arms up, let them come up, keeping uh -huh. your head, and then exhale them down to the side, just opening uh -huh. up. So you're finding the strength, but opening and not feeling the tension. It's beautiful. Thank you. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you for being here. Oh, okay. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Remember when you eat well and feel great. It's something you want to do for the rest of your life. Remember, balance and moderation is key. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a great night.